Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars, and you're watching another episode from the Luthiers Workbench. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how much of my guitar building work is done with a CNC machine, and then how much uses traditional hand building techniques. And that's actually a pretty good question, because when you think about CNC, you can't help but think, wow, I could use one of those machines to do absolutely everything. The only thing left to do would be to apply the finish and then, you know, final assembly. But the truth is, is with CNC, uh, you kind of find yourself having to determine or decide how much of the work will be done by CNC and then how much you'll do by hand. Because even though CNC machines have the ability to do a very high level of finish, the more work you put on the CNC machine, the longer it actually takes to do. And I find myself doing mostly rough carving, some finishing, but mostly rough carving with the CNC machine. And then I'll pull the part off and finish it by hand because I can actually do that a lot faster. Uh, for example, if like with this guitar neck, if I'm going to make this neck shaft with the back contour on CNC, that's probably going to take, to do the, the back contour, do the headstock, the tuner holes, the truss rod slot, all of that's going to take probably about, oh, around two hours to rough carve it. If I add in a finishing step, it would probably take an additional 90 minutes to do it. Now I can actually do that rough carve in two hours and then take that part off and do the, uh, the same thing that the finishing cut would do. I can do that by hand using my Japanese Iwasaka files and then working up through different grits of sandpaper in maybe 45 minutes. So I can actually do that part of it faster. So what I do is and this is something I've learned through experience, is I know that I can take um, the CNC work up to a certain point and then pull the part off and finish it off by hand, and I can actually save a little bit of time. Now, if you're mass producing guitars, you know, if you're making, you know, let's say 12 guitar necks in a day or more, then it makes sense to do more of the work with CNC because it becomes really difficult to, unless you have an army of employees, it becomes really difficult to actually do that work by hand. It's a lot of wear and tear. You'll notice when you are doing, you know, your, your uh, finish carving and finish sanding, you know, it puts a lot of wear and tear on your wrist, elbows, and shoulders. So if you're trying to do a dozen guitar necks, it's gonna kill you. <laughs> but um, since I'm not actually working and building at that level in terms of volume, it just makes sense for me to do um, probably about 75% of the work with the CNC machine and then the remaining uh, 25 to 30% with uh, hand building or the hand uh, finishing techniques. So, and typically like with this neck, what I'll do is after I've got it uh, pretty well shape to where I want it, is I'll spend a lot of time looking and feeling the surface of the neck for any imperfections that I need to address. And I'll use both my sense of touch as well as my sense of sight. Now, in most cases, when you just look at a neck, it, it may look perfect. You think there's nothing wrong with it, there are no flaws. But as you run your fingers along the surface, you'll start to detect little tiny flaws in the surface, maybe one or two. And even though you can feel them, it can be really hard to pinpoint exactly where that issue is. So what I use is a bright light, and I'll hold my guitar neck up to the bright light, and I'll just turn it so that I can actually see the light and the shadow uh, moving across that neck and that can help me spot, pinpoint, and locate little imperfections. And as I find them, I can mark it with my finger, and then I'll go back and grab a uh, piece of fine sandpaper, and I'll just sand that area, and then work up through the grits until I get it really, really smooth. And I'll spend quite a bit of time just running my hand back and forth, 
trying to find anything that just, you know, it can be ever so slightly small because when you play a guitar, as your hands are moving up and down that neck, any little imperfection, you're just going to constantly notice it. And that can distract a player and it can affect the way they play. So I try to spend a surprising amount of time away from the CNC machine at my workbench trying to make every neck as perfect as possible. Now, here's a tip for you. If you're building for a customer and that customer tells you, you know, kind of what they want as far as a, a profile and how they want the neck to feel, what you can do is you can make the neck up to a point where you're about to start finish sanding, but stop at that point box it up and ship it to your customer and say, check out this neck, tell me what you think. Does it feel right? Does it, is it comfortable? Is it something that you would like? Or is there something about it that bothers you that you don't like? Ship it back to me and we'll, we'll work it up you know, from there to see if we can make it right. And the cool thing about having CNC is the technology that I use to, to do the rough carves if a customer says, no, that neck feels just a little too fat, I'd like it to be a little uh, thinner profile, I can go back into the CNC file and adjust it to where it will, the, the next neck I carve will be a little bit thinner. So I'll just take the neck that I made for that customer, set it aside, pull out a fresh blank and make a new one. Or if, uh, if I want to continue using that neck, it's possible that whatever changes the customer wants me to make, I can make right to that blank. I don't have to start over from scratch. But just knowing I have that ability makes it easier to build a guitar that is going to be exactly what the customer wants. And how would you like it if you were a customer and you were having somebody build you a guitar and out of the blue they send you the neck and say, how does this feel? That'd be pretty cool you would think, wow, this guy's really interested in how I feel about this thing. And that's going to give them a nice, uh, warm, fuzzy feeling about who they're dealing with. So uh, that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at today with uh, working on guitar necks and doing CNC stuff. And I'm going to get back to finishing up this neck because it's getting very close to where I can install the tuners and then stick it into the guitar body and do the final assembly. So we will see you in the next episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. Take care.